Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. King Crosby. Welcome back to Lesson 5, Properties and Materials. Last time we talked about ingredients and what may happen when two or more ingredients are mixed together. Today we're going to continue our investigation with this question. How can the properties of a mixture change? Activity 1 today is observing dry glue ingredients. If you have a packet at home, turn to this page. It's titled, Properties of Glue Ingredients. It's okay if you don't. We could use this page on the screen together. You and I will use this page to record observations of ingredients in the first two columns. The first says ingredients. The next column says observations of dry ingredients. And the third column is observations of wet mixture. For now, we're going to ignore the last two columns. We'll come back later and complete these columns. So I will prepare a cup with each of our four ingredients. When I measure a dry ingredient with a spoon, it should be a level spoonful. As I observe my ingredient, I'm going to focus on what it looks like, feels like, sounds like, and smells like. And remember, I won't touch it with my fingers or taste it. After we're done observing, let's record words that will help people know about the ingredient, even if they have never seen it before. We're going to use the first column, observations of dry ingredients. The first ingredient I have is salt. Now, I put a level spoonful in the cup already. And we're going to observe what it looks like, what it feels like, and I'm just going to rub it against the back of my spoon, what it sounds like, and then what it smells like. Okay, the second dry ingredient is the baking soda. Again, what does it look like? And sounds like and smells like. Third dry ingredient is flour. Observe what it looks like. What it sounds like and smells. And our last dry ingredient is called cornstarch. Again, what it looks like, very powdery, feels like with the back of my spoon, and sounds like, and smells. Let's record the observations of properties we just discussed. So the first ingredient was salt. I bet you said white, tiny, coarse, which also means sharp. The second ingredient was baking soda. Did you say white, powdery, and no smell? Me too. Let's go to flour. Hmm, I thought soft, white, and powdery. And cornstarch, white, soft, powdery, and definitely no smell. Let's go on to activity two, making and observing mixture. So we're observing ingredients to see which ones make sticky glue. Are any of the dry ingredients you observed sticky enough to hold something, such as a bean or our dried pasta? I bet you said no, the dry ingredients are not sticky. Well, our next task will be adding water and creating a mixture that will help us figure out which ingredients might make a sticky glue. We will now make mixtures of each ingredient and water. We're going to add a spoonful of water and gently stir it. We're going to use a stir stick to move the mixture and press it against the cup to see if it makes a sound. We'll observe how the mixture looks, feels, smells, and sounds. After we observe, let's write words that will help describe the properties of the mixture and we'll record it in this second column titled Observations of Wet Mixture. 
go ahead and mix the water into each of our dry ingredients. So I have salt here and I have a cup of water. I'm going to take a level spoonful and I'm going to put it in my salt. And I will stir it around. Can you listen to that? Do you hear that? And observe what the salt is doing. Okay, and here is my baking soda. I already put a level spoonful of water. Oh wow, it's a little bit runnier. Now here is the flour with a level spoonful. Wow, have you ever made bread before? When you add water to flour, it's a little pasty. Yeah, and then our cornstarch already has a level spoonful of water. Oh my goodness, it's a little harder. And definitely pastier. Now we're on to activity three, discussing properties of ingredients and mixtures. So we combine ingredients and we mix them up. What happens when ingredients are combined? What's one interesting property you observed about one of the mixtures? Let's compare the properties of ingredients and the mixtures. What happened when water was added to the dry ingredients? Well, let's look at our uh, table. It says salt, ingredient, and water. Oh, crunchy and sticky. Baking soda. I wrote runny and white. Now flour was definitely sticky, but it was smooth. Cornstarch was gooey, thick, pasty, and white. So when ingredients are combined, a mixture is created. Today we combined salt, flour, cornstarch, or baking soda, and water to create a mixture. So here's our sentence. Ingredient plus ingredient equals a mixture. The key concept today is properties of mixture can change when other ingredients are added. That's all for today. When we come back, we're going to set up one of the properties we observed today, sticky tests. Hope you had fun and I will see you soon. Bye everyone!